Right, so I recently bought another copy of this very rare record uh, from the very exotic place of Rajasthan in India. And it got held up. At, uh, it reached uh, Delhi Airport in, in, in India on the day of uh, when India had its lockdown for about a month or so. And I thought I was never going to find it. Probably going to be crushed to pieces. Then suddenly out of the blue, about six weeks later, it suddenly turned up one evening. The Royal Mail post office here knocked on the door and there it was. This It came with this record and the other one in the series. So uh, this is the most important one because it's got that uh, wonderful poem, Vitae Lampada, The Torch of Life. And uh, the second poem is The Best School of All. Uh, readings by uh, the author Sir Henry Newbolt reading his own poems. Let's have a listen. By J.I. Lampeter, The Torch of Life. There's a breathless hush in the close tonight. Ten to make and the match to win. A bumping pitch and a blinding light. An hour to play and the last man in. And it's not for the sake of a ribbon coat or the selfish hope of a season's fame. But his captain's hand on his shoulder smote. Play up, play up and play the game. The sand of the desert is sodden red, red with the wreck of a square that broke. The Gatling's jammed and the colonel dead, and the regiment blind with dust and smoke. The river of death has brimmed his bank, and England's power and honour are name. But the voice of a schoolboy rallies the rank. Play up, play up, and play the game. This is the word that year by year, while in her place the school is set. Every one of her sons must hear, and none that hears it dare forget. This they all with a joyful mind, bear through life like a torch in flame, and falling cling to the host behind. Stay up, stay up, and stay the game. The best school of all. It's good to see the school we knew, the land of youth and dream. To greet again the role we knew before we took the stream. Though long we've missed the sight of her, our hearts may not forget. We've lost the old delight of her, we keep her honour yet. We'll honour yet the school we knew, the best school of all. We'll honour yet the rule we knew till the last bell call. The working days or holidays and glad or melancholy days. They were great days and jolly days at the best school of all. The stars and sounding vanities that half the crowd bewitch, what are they but inanities to him that treads the pitch? And where's the wealth I'm wondering could buy the cheers that grow when the last charge goes thundering beneath the twilight glow? The men that tend the hide of us, our daily foes and friends, they shall not lose their pride of us, however the journey ends. Their voice to us who sing of it, no more its message bears, but the round world shall ring it, and all we are deserve. To speak of pain, adventure, does it all here can die, that we may face the centuries and bear the deep inside. For though the dust that's part of us, the dust again be gone, yet here shall beat the heart of us, the school we handed on. We honor yet the school we knew, the best school of all, We'll honour yet the rule we knew till the last bell call. The working days or holidays and dead or melancholy days. They were great days and jolly days at the best school of all.